Saturday, May 8th is National Train Day, and we're celebrating with a bit of local railroad history. In the early 20th century, a trip on Mount Tom's inclined railroad in Holyoke gave visitors access to some spectacular views of the Pioneer Valley. The once popular summer attraction fell victim to the Great Depression and was dismantled in 1938. Today, this land is part of the Mount Tom State Reservation, and producer Dave Frazier brings us the story of this once vibrant era, which is gone but not forgotten. This road went to the summit. It was the inclined railway that uh, was owned by William Stiles Loomis and his Mount Tom Railroad Company. And it transported people from the the lower station to the upper station in about seven to eight minutes. Of course, everything was clear cut then, so the view would have been spectacular. That's the way you went out in those days. You went out dressed to the nine, uh, whether it be male or female, uh, you wore the, the wool suit and the wool dress. And it had to be uncomfortable, but they all did it. It was just the way you went out. It was about a mile in distance. Uh, they were each on the end of a cable that made a single loop up around the upper station. And there was an eight foot pulley up there that had come back down. And this created a situation where they always passed in exactly the same spot. And people would take their picnics up there. Uh, the women would all gather in the pavilion. The men would go out doing their manly things in the woods and they'd come back and have this great picnic all set up. Uh, spend the afternoon uh, just enjoying the view and the shade and then make the trip back down. It was 25 cents round trip. There was three summit houses. The first one was 1897 to uh, 1900. And then from 1901 to 1929, from 1929 to 36, when they burned. And they, uh, the first two burned, the last one, uh, it was all steel construction, so it just merely went to scrap. The president and his wife came to Holyoke uh, for the graduation of their granddaughter from Mount Holyoke College. And while they were here, they become the guests of uh, William Loomis. And of course, his pride and joy was the summit houses, and uh, they got on the same car you and I would ride and rode to the summit. We are at the summit now of Mount Tom, where the first, second, and third summit houses once stood. Uh, you can see the view from here as you panorama uh, off in the distance here, you see East Hampton. On a clear day, we can see Springfield, Amherst, uh, and almost the Greenfield in some cases. These uh, stairways right here were the entrance to the first and second summit house, and they are part of the original 1896 construction. It all ended when, they, when the automobile come into vogue, the summit trade fell flat of its face. Uh, people started using their own cars, and it was a money-making thing, and it didn't go over. So any good businessman say, close it up. Its use today is for a service road to the uh, towers or the antennas farm on the summit. It's mind-boggling <laughs> to think that uh, you can take a wilderness like this and turn it into a functional uh, thing like the inclined railway was. And uh, like I said, there was thousands of railroad ties, thousands of feet of, of track. It was a big endeavor in the days it was built. 